smoke drink breakup the first single um just released is pretty much a relationship based song about um you know just being in this relationship to where you feel like this person drives you literally like up the wall and you kind of feel like in order to deal with each other you guys kind of got to be out of your mind so we kind of did a play on words um and yeah it's definitely something that I can relate to, and I'm sure a lot of people out there can. My influences, well, obviously Janet, um, just some of my first concerts were hers, the Rhythm Nation, all of that. Like, so to go see her, like, I, when I saw her, I was like, okay, that's what I want to do. Like, I just love how she entertains. Like, she, you know, you go to her show, she's going to have a million dancers and lights, camera, action. I was just like, okay, that's what I wanted to do. And it was just cool to see a female, like, dancing and singing. You know what I mean? So her, um, Prince, the... Purple Rain was my first concert, too. Um, TLC, obviously, same thing. They just, they were fun. They were relatable. And I think that's what I really liked them. And they just had someone, you know, th their personalities, they were tomboys. I'm naturally a tomboy. So I was like, I could just relate to them. I felt like they were the girls the girls next door. My first debut album is going to be called Made in Los Angeles. It's an acronym um, for Mila, play on words. Um, it is weird. Like, I just came up with that, like, a couple months ago, I was like, you guys, Mila can stand for Made in Los Angeles. Like, why have I never thought about this? This is my name. Like, so it just, I don't know, it made sense. I was born and raised here, which is, it's rare you find people in LA that are actually from here. I have a song called Times Like These. I really like it. It's, um, you know, it's, it, it is, it's another love song relationship based song, but it's just really about me being there for my dude, like going through the hard times. Cause I feel like it's so many, you know, guys get the wrong impressions nowadays, especially about girls, like thinking that they're all only with them for this and that. And it's like, this song is really showing like, no, there's really girls that are down. Like I'm there for when it's like, you know what I mean? For good and bad like it's the bad you know what I mean like I'll be there so I don't know I, I really like that song I feel like it's I don't know it's passionate I like it I would love to work with Pharrell I think it would be dope uh Missy and Timberland uh Kanye Nicki Minaj John Mayer I, um I can go on and on you know it's weird because even though like we got our like my father was a musician and we kind of got into it through him and then like my brother raps and my even my uh, my older sister she sings too so we are like a musical family but it's like when we have family time like that's like the last thing we talk about literally like if someone was to come in the house they probably wouldn't even know that anyone does music like it's yeah we're like just about family when we're together like we don't really talk about music when we're together it's like family time we're talking about funny stuff that my niece did or just like you know random youtube videos or stuff we seen on instagram it's like we're just totally normal like right. <laughs> yeah okay. what about like collaborations can we expect to maybe hear something between the two of you um i'm sure that will come gotta stay tuned